Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you what the learner view looks like for your Open edX courses built using MOOCit Studio. It's important to understand that the LMS is separate from Studio and they have different URLs. Studio is where course team members build and manage courses. As a course author, most of your work will be done in Studio. The LMS is where learners take the courses that you create in Studio. The LMS also contains the instructor dashboard. There is a unique instructor dashboard for every course, and this is where you or your course instructors will carry out learner administration tasks. Note that even though the instructor dashboard is accessible via the LMS, learners will not be able to access it. It is only visible to course staff. Today, we're going to focus on the LMS, otherwise known as the Learner View. The first step for learners is to sign up for your course. Usually, they will sign up directly on your website, which will link them to your LMS. Otherwise, you can send them out invitations to sign up for your course by email. If the learner is already registered to your LMS and you invite them to an additional course, they should receive an email like this. If they don't already have an account with your LMS, they'll receive an email like this inviting them to register. When they click on either the registration link or the access the course materials now link, they will arrive to the sign-in page of your LMS. This is the sign-in page for the MOOCit LMS. If you're a business or pro user, this page will have a customized URL and be designed to suit your brand. Here, learners will either create an account or sign in. There's even an option to sign in using Facebook or Google to facilitate this process. From here, the learner arrives on the course outline page. Learners can access the home page of the LMS by clicking on the logo in the header menu. Again, for business or pro users, this would be your own unique business logo. On the home page, learners will see a list of all the courses that they're enrolled in. Selecting the course title will open the course outline page. Selecting start course will open to the first unit page or resume course, if the course has already been started, will take them to the last unit page that they've completed. Then, they can progress through the course units by selecting Next. Again, the course title, located here in the header menu, will bring learners to the course outline. Here, they can expand and collapse the sections and subsections of your course to view all of the units. They can also search the course for specific keywords and then access the unit where the keyword is found. On the right side, learners can see the header image of your course, select to start or resume the course, and see a progress bar indicating how much of the course they've already completed. Below this, learners will see course information including the title, about, and the end date of the course. Learners can select View More to access the full About page. You can customize this page to how you see fit. At a minimum, course authors usually include a course description, prerequisites for the course, and instructor bios. Back on the course page, learners can see if there are any course handouts available to download, such as the course curriculum. Here, you may also add links to your social pages. In the header menu, learners have access to the discussions page. Here they will see instructions on how to participate in discussions. Learners may participate in course discussions directly via this page rather than searching for the discussion unit. On the progress page, learners can see how they're doing in the course. They will be able to see course certificates as well as any badges won. They can also see a breakdown of their score for each section and subsection. The next option in the header menu is for updates. These are set up by the course author. And when a new update is added, there will be a small red notification here. 
which indicates to learners that there is a new update available. The final icon is available for any textbooks, where the learner can view the textbook in PDF mode, bookmarks that the learners have made throughout the course, or any additional pages that you've created in Studio. From the user menu on the right of the header menu, learners can resume their last course, access and modify their profile, including its visibility to other learners, and access their certificates. Under account, learners can edit their contact details, reset their password, change the language of the platform, or delete their account. Again, do keep in mind that for business and pro users, the look and feel of the LMS will be adapted to suit your branding. This is a simple visual example of the standard MOOCIT template. And that finalizes our tour of the learner view for your courses created using MOOCIT Studio.